are back YouTube. For anyone who's returning, thank you. And for everyone who's new, welcome. I'm Mitch, and this is Retro Rummage. Aim of the game on my channel normally is uh, buying games, DVDs, Blu-rays, uh, any electrical items I get my hands on at car boot sales, Facebook Marketplace, uh, charity shops for a cheap price. So I'm getting the traded into CX at a high price so I can build my own gaming collection. But today, something a little bit more different. Um, I'm going to a gaming shop that's very local to me. I have been there before in the past. So if you haven't seen that video, please go and check it out. But the reason that I'm going there today um, is they've recently had a refurb. They've extended into the uh, shop next door. Um, and yeah, they've got a, a lot more on offer in terms of toys and stuff like that. So I thought I'd go and give it a uh, go and check it out. Sorry. Um, Apologies for the lighting in this uh, video. I've, for some reason, I've just tried turning my uh, ring light on and it's not working. So <laughs> I need to get a new one, but that's why it's a, a little bit darker today. Hopefully on the next video, um, yeah, we'll be back to normal um, if it gets delivered in time. But yeah, without further ado, um, we'll hit the road, get down to the Retro Hunter in Leon C. Again, I'll put links to, um, oh, sorry, address and links to all of his socials and everything in the description of the video. Please go and check him out. Uh, really, really good store, lots on offer. But yeah, let's get into it and I'll see you after.
So yes, we're back. And yeah, really, really good. Always good to bump into uh, to Ali. Well, not bump into him. It's always good to, to go and meet Ali. <laughs> I can hardly say I bump into him if he's at his shop. But yeah, always good to catch up with him. Um, really nice guy. And also shout out to uh, Rob, the Essex Retro Gamer. Bumped into him as well. So it's uh, yeah, nice, nice to meet him as well for the first time. So it's so really, really cool. Um, managed to get a couple of pickups. Um, obviously, if you've watched my videos in the past, you know that I'm not a millionaire, and as much as I would love to go into Alice Shop and be, you know, getting these games that are, you know, 100, 200 pounds, just pure cash, um, <laughs> unfortunately, I can't do that. So with these, I, I always like to go and buy the games that are maybe a little bit more low value and something I wouldn't necessarily want to take the risk on CEX Roulette with. For example, you know, if it's a £10 game, it doesn't come with a manual, you know, it's a headache taking it back and stuff like that. Whereas, I would be happy to pay £10 or a little bit more for a game, knowing that it's got the manual and it's in good condition, rather than obviously going to the boot sales like I normally do, trading stuff in, so I'm able to get games that cost 100 200 even more sometimes. So that's, what's, that's what I'm all about when I go to these places like Ali, the Retro Hunter, uh, Miso Games as well in Billericay. Um, they've got a really good shop. And obviously, if I go to the London gaming market and stuff like that, that's, that's my goal. And that's exactly what I've done today. Um, picked up three games. Two of them were ten pound each, uh, and one. Oh, sorry, two of them were ten pound each. And one of them was thirteen pound. Two GameCube games and one PlayStation Two game. So, I'll start with the um, with the GameCube games. Now, when there is a theme to this. Obviously, anyone who's watched my videos in the past knows that I absolutely love Resident Evil. And when I said I was going to get a GameCube. Um, a lot of people, one of the first recommendations that they said was to get um, Resident Evil uh, on the GameCube because this is a remake of Resident Evil 1 on the PlayStation. So, yeah, we'll, we'll open it up. Um, as you can see, really good condition. Oh, both discs in there. Manual is nice and, and minty fresh. Um, I'm, to be honest, I haven't checked the discs, but... You know, I know that Ali doesn't take in uh, take in rubbish at his uh, shop, so I'm confident that <laughs> yeah, they're, they're they're all good. But yeah, re really um really happy to be adding this to the GameCube collection. It I, <laughs> the funny thing is when I got the GameCube, I did say that I didn't really want to. I'm not one of these people where I'm going to collect games. I'm going to have the same game on three consoles. It's not something that I'm all about. You know, I'm only going to play the game once whether it's on the GameCube. Obviously, I would prefer to have it on the best platform out of the consoles that I've got. Um, but the reason that I went for this one is because, obviously, it is a remake. Um, the graphics, I'm assuming, are going to be a little bit better, and it would be interesting to see the difference between, obviously, the first one and this remake. So, so that is why I've got this one. I won't be buying, for example, I don't know if I've got Hit and Run on... Simpsons Hit and Run on the PlayStation 2. I'm not then going to go and buy it on the GameCube. If I did... I would then look to either trade on or, or get rid of the other one. I don't want to have the same game three or four times. So that's just my opinion. Obviously, people who like to, to have all games on different consoles, you crack on. It's your collection. You, you, <laughs> you do as you like. But it, that's just how I'm going to operate. But yeah, Resident Evil on the GameCube, £10 paid. I think that is a £10 game in CEX. Um, so, so no money saved, but obviously it is in really good condition. So yeah, Resident Evil on the uh, GameCube there. And then, yeah, the next one, Resident Evil Zero on the GameCube. Now, obviously, this, um, from from my understanding, was only released on the GameCube. Maybe it was released on another platform. Let me know in the comments uh, if I'm wrong. Obviously, it's not on the PlayStation 1 or 2, as far as I'm aware. Um, I'm pretty sure, because <laughs> I have checked. But, yeah, I'm sure there's someone smarter than me who may put in the comments. But, yeah, have, can't get this on the PlayStation 2 or the PlayStation 1. Um, so yeah, really looking forward to to playing this. Never played it before. Um, it's yeah, like I said, I didn't have a GameCube when I was a kid. So so looking forward to getting into that. Not aware of what the storyline's like or anything like that. So any information that you've got, let me know in the comments. Um, is this a remake or you know a similar game on another platform that I might know about? But yeah, really looking forward to getting into to Resident Evil Zero. So yeah, two Resident Evil games there. Uh, for the GameCube collection and for my my uh, my Resident Evil collection in general, should we say? Those ones probably won't be going on the Resident Evil shelf because it is getting a bit tight for space over there. Um, I do need to 
now that I'm collecting for the GameCube, I do need to think about storage and, and what I'm going to do. It may be that I have to get another shelving unit, so we'll see. But yeah, really, really happy to, to be adding those two into the collection. And then, yeah, the PlayStation 2 game that I picked up was Metal Slug 3. Now, I've got Metal Slug X on the PlayStation 1. Um, absolutely, if, if you've seen me pick that um, up before, absolutely love Metal Slug. Um, got some real memories of playing it on the arcade uh, back in the day. And, and yeah, £10 paid. And this one's in really, really good condition, as, as you can see there. Um, the manual again, can't fault it. Disc, like I say, in brilliant condition. Ali, he, he doesn't take any rubbish into his... Uh, into his shop, um, which I can assure you. So yeah, and that was another ten pound game. Um, sorry, another ten pound paid for that game. So obviously you've got Metal Slug X, Metal Slug Three. Now I think on the PlayStation Two you've got is it Metal Slug Anthology, which is a bit more pricier game, maybe forty or fifty pounds. Can't remember, but I will be looking to add that one um, to the collection in the future. So yeah, three really solid games to be adding to the collection. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video, obviously, of me going around the store, seeing the, the, what, what was new on selection. If you're into your toys, get down there. He's got loads and loads on offer, um, as well as, obviously, the games that he had before. By his own admittance, um, when I was there, he said he's got loads and loads out the back that he's going through, sorting out, so that he can put on, on show as well. So, you know, if, if it's not there when you go there next time, it'll probably be there the, the following time. So it's always good to, to pop in and uh, see what else he's got on offer. And follow, him, follow him on Instagram as well because he's always getting new trade-ins and stuff like that. And obviously for yourself, if, if you're living local to the area and you've got stuff to trade in, take it down there. You know, he, he may give you a better price than CEX, especially if he's got something in store that, that you're looking to add to it. So yeah, hope you enjoyed the video today. Um, yeah, let me know in the comments regarding uh, Resident Evil Zero um, if there's any if you've got any information because it is you know brand new to me. Like I say, I, I do like Resident Evil. I'm not, I never pretend to be you know someone who's knowledgeable or <laughs> you know knows all this stuff. I, I'm just a gamer and a collector. I enjoy playing them, but you know don't don't quiz me on on, on any of them because I just yeah I don't know. I don't know anything basically <laughs> apart from the fact that i want the game so yeah but i'm looking forward to playing it um but yeah take care everyone and i'll see you all in the next one